Welcome back to Elements of Art and our unit on shape. I'm Natasha and I have another art question for you. Have you ever heard of an organic shape? Yeah, organic, like some of the produce that you see in the supermarket. Yes, well, an organic shape is different from a geometric shape. An organic shape is like the rebellious teenager of the art world. It's a shape that refuses to conform to any of the rules of geometry and math. Just like in the last lesson, we still know that a shape is a flat enclosed space. However, today we are going to focus on organic shapes instead of geometric. Organic shapes embrace their imperfections and they refuse to be boxed in with straight lines and angles. They can be unpredictable, wild, and full of energy. In today's lesson, we will learn what characteristics define organic shapes, identify organic shapes in some artwork examples, and look at three art movements that feature organic shapes. Discussion of organic shapes is fun and no math terms are needed. Organic shapes are like that crazy hairdo you wake up with in the morning. It is not perfect, it's not symmetrical, and it's not geometric. It's natural and unique to you. Just like every leaf on a tree is different, each organic shape has its own character. An organic shape is a shape that's found in nature, and it's not defined by mathematical principles. Organic shapes are natural. They're characterized by their irregular, curving, and flowing lines. They often have asymmetrical forms and lack straight lines and angles. Organic shapes can be found in many forms in nature, such as in the shape of a leaf, a tree, a mountain, a human body, etc. One of the best ways to identify an organic shape is to look for shapes that have irregular edges or contours. Organic shapes have a naturalness to them. Their edges and curves are often erratic or random, and they lack the precise measurements and symmetry that is found in geometric shapes. Organic shapes are used in art to convey a sense of naturalness and spontaneity, as well as to give a sense of movement, depth, and perspective. They can be used in a variety of ways in art, including symbolism, emotion and mood, abstraction, or contrast. Let's take a look at each of these. Symbolism. Organic shapes can be used as symbols in art. For example, a leaf shape can symbolize growth and renewal, or the shape of the human body could reference strength or balance. Emotion and mood. Organic shapes can be used to create a sense of emotion and mood in a piece of art. Looking at these two paintings, which one conveys a sense of calm to you and which one exudes a sense of energy? Why do you think that is? Abstraction. Artists also use organic shapes as an abstraction from reality to create more expressive, dynamic, and sometimes non-representational artworks. Contrast. Artists use organic shapes to contrast with geometric shapes in order to create more dynamic compositions and to show the contrast between the natural and the man-made world. Let's take a look at a few artworks. They include Haystacks and Brittany by Paul Gauguin, Red Knot by Vasily Kandinsky, and L'Argent by Toulouse-Lautrec. Each of these demonstrates a heavy use of the element of shape, specifically organic shape. Let's take a moment and try to see some of the organic shapes that exist in each painting. In this painting, we see many rounded lump-type shapes representing the various fields and haystacks. 
There are also smaller flower type shapes that adorn one of the bushes in the foreground. What other organic shapes do you see? Find the outline image in your notes and color in the main organic shapes that appear to you. Do this for the following two examples as well. In this painting, we see many lobed and flowing organic shapes, like layered gray and orange shapes on the left, and the even larger maroon shape on the right. Can the red, line-like, roping figure in the center be considered a shape? Why or why not? In this image, we see strong organic shapes in the coat forms from the back of the figures. Where else are organic shapes featured? Throughout history, organic shape has been a popular element in art, appearing in different movements, styles, and mediums. Their versatility and natural appeal have made them a favorite among artists. Some art movements where they take center stage include Art Nouveau. Organic shapes were heavily used in the Art Nouveau movement, which was popular in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This movement was characterized by flowing, sinuous lines and intricate designs inspired by nature. The organic shapes used in Art Nouveau often included stylized floral motifs, leaves, and vines. Abstract Expressionism In the mid-20th century, artists like Jackson Pollock and Mark Rothko pushed the boundaries of traditional painting techniques with their use of abstraction and gestural mark-making. Organic shapes were often used in abstract expressionist art to give a sense of movement and energy. Pollock's famous drip paintings, for example, featured swirling organic forms that seemed to dance across the canvas. Surrealism. Surrealist art, which emerged in the 1920s, was characterized by its use of dreamlike imagery and irrational juxtapositions. Organic shapes were often used in surrealist art to give a sense of fluidity and ambiguity. The art of Salvador Dali, for example, often incorporated melting, distorted forms that seemed to defy the laws of physics. Art Nouveau, Abstract Expressionism, and Surrealism all explored the use of organic shape in their respective art movements. Art Nouveau celebrated the beauty of natural forms, while Abstract Expressionism used spontaneous gestural marks to create organic shapes and Surrealism employed organic shapes to explore subconscious and dreamlike states. Is there one that you find especially intriguing and would like to try? In this lesson, we learned about organic shapes, which are shapes found in nature that do not follow mathematical principles. We looked at examples of organic shapes in art, and we explored some of the art movements that heavily featured them. Organic shapes are like your nosy neighbor always lurking around and reminding you that they're there. You can find them in the leaves on the tree, the curves of your couch, even in the lumps of your mashed potatoes. They're everywhere. So keep an eye out. As you remember, art is all around you. Hey.